welcome to the layers tutorial. Layers give us the ability to combine different elements together into one instrument. Which is really cool because now, let's say you have a synth that sounds great, but you want to have a little bit of a, like a pad sound underneath it. Now with layers, you can combine instruments to achieve new sound. This is just going to be a short example. So I just want to show you how to set a layer up, but also because there's a little bit of confusion about what a selecting a track means. When we select a track, we're not talking about actually going through and selecting like that. We're talking about this uh, little green area right here, the green light. And to select that, all we have to do is left click and to select multiple instances of a VSTI or sampler, we just hold down shift and then click the green area. So what we'll do is go ahead and load a few VSTIs here. And you can load as many as you want, but keep in mind that with each VSTI or sampler that you load, it's not only going to increase the volume, but it's going to end up clouding the sound and will eventually lead to distortion, so be careful. So now we have these two VSTIs loaded, and what we'll do is go ahead and add a layer. And next we want to select the channels that we want included in that layer. So again, we'll just left click, and then I'll hold down shift and left click again, so that both the uh, bass and the synth are selected. And once these channels are set, all we'll do is go over here to this layer, and left click on set children and now those two channels that we had selected are part of this layer so now when we play notes on this layer we'll get both sounds coming through and you can also go through over here and adjust the channel volume to get the right mix and another cool feature included with the layer option here is this random button. Go ahead and tick that. And what this is going to do is just randomly choose which instrument is going to be playing. And then the last thing that we have here is the crossfade option. To use this we need to turn the crossfade on. And then this knob here is going to choose which instrument is playing based on where the knob is pointing. And this is going to be proportional to however many instruments you have loaded. So in this case, the entire left side is just going to be one, and then the other side will be two. Something like this might be kind of cool to use for pads, where maybe you could like morph one sound into another as you go through the song. And of course you can use automation with this as well. Anyway, layering is definitely a great way not only to work more efficiently, but also to create new sounds. Really the only limitation is that you can't layer a layer, meaning that you can't set a layer as a child of a layer. Some ideas might be to experiment with using vocal samples and then layering them, maybe doing harmony or to combine a higher frequency instrument with a lower one to make a full harmonic instrument. So, as always, I hope that you're able to use this tool to make better music, and I'll see you next time.